Okay, we're back. This is going to be video number six. I think I just did video number four, um, five rather. This will be video number six. Here is one of the uh, motherboards again. And we have the controller board, universal controller board already connected. But there was a couple of things I didn't mention in the previous video. One is, is that Along with the controller board for everyone that's purchased, um, this pigtail with the capacitor is uh, provided. And this goes to when we remove that little tiny black one microfarad capacitor, one of those leads went to the proper, um, was connected on the motherboard to the proper pin on the driving transistor. That, there were two holes, one for each lead. I know it's such tiny stuff, but for one for each lead on this one microfarad capacitor. Um, I'm trying to pick a unit that's easily visible. This looks, this looks re reasonably visible. Here's the controller board. Here's the blue wire that was connected here. I, I, I cut it so I could give uh, a better presentation just to show you. This blue wire here that comes from the controller board, this one right here, goes to the position that we, we removed the hole that the little uh, capacitor came out of and it goes to the hole that has a LAN connected to uh, pin, pin number one pin number one on the transistor. This yellow wire, which I've already connected and I've cut it again, has the little capacitor on it and this goes to the opposite hole where the, uh, there's two holes now when I remove that electrolytic, this goes to the opposite one which is actually connected to the oscillator, the onboard oscillator. So when this is when this is plugged in or soldered in, on the lead right here, right where I'm tapping the, the capacitor, that output is a control pulse that I'm going to feed back uh, through the switches, through the switches on the plasma ball, I'm going to wire them in when this thing finally gets wired. And that's going to be the internal oscillator option. When you flip the switch all the way down, um, it runs from the internal oscillator, and when you flip it all the way up, it's going to run from a spooky or a function generator. Um, I, there's one last thing that I want to show here, and that is, is that we have to bring on every board, after you get the controller board mounted, you have to bring out the ground, the power ground, and there's a lot of ways you can do that. The way I'm going to do it on this particular model here is I'm going to solder a black wire to the same place that the power line on the controller board went to and I'll solder it on the bottom side. I'll just solder a black wire and just bring that out. Um, so coming off the motherboard you will have your controller board two wires channel 1 and channel 2 that will be connected um, through the switches according to the diagrams that I have. You'll have a ground wire coming off, and then you'll have the internal oscillator coming off. This, 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 rig, this cap is connected to the internal oscillator. This will connect to the gating, and this, will, this yellow wire will connect to the um, a primary channel, and there will be an additional black wire coming off, which will represent the ground. And they will all go to the inside switches here on your plasma ball switches and the uh, RCA phono jacks. Okay, uh, how many minutes we got? Four minutes. Okay, I've got to continue on here. I'm going to connect this this modified motherboard up. I have three of them. They're all different, but they all, remember, I've said it before, they all have the transformer, an onboard oscillator, and they have this driving transistor. And no matter what uh, style I've seen on plasma ball motherboards, 
They've all had the same three things, and that's all we work with. All right, I wanted to try this baby here. I haven't had one that had this uh, big, huge transformer on it. So, um, as you can see, the other ones have little square, square transformers. And this one had this huge monstrosity. I'm sort of anxious to try this. So, let's wire it up. Um, the ground, that black wire that I said that has to come off of this, I, I happen to know that there's a connection point right here. So I'm going to use an alicator clip. And I'm going to bring that wire over to my Spooky. So the Spooky now has a common ground. And it's going to, it's going to channel one right now, the ground. I have a white wire coming off the Spooky. Got a little pigtail adapter here, white wire, and I'm going to feed that into the yellow wire right here, the yellow wire. That's the input to the master controller board. And if everything is done right, this very simple modification, we're not talking about five wires, moving two parts, and you're up and running. Um, I know I make it oversimplified sounding, don't I? But if I plug this in, and I turn on the switch, power is provided. I have the Spooky connected to the channel one. Um, the motherboard, the, the master controller board, um, automatically ties this uh, gating line high. So I don't have to connect it if I'm not going to use gating. Uh, for this example, I will bypass on that. And I have a pair of pliers here that have metal. If I turn my Spooky on, which right now it's off, and it's set for 30,000 hertz, I just turned it on, I should be getting electricity, about 20,000 volts coming off the top of that uh, transformer wire. I can see it if I get it close. Yo, oh, there it is. I don't know if you can see it. It might light up as a hot spot on the... Okay, so I know that this thing is working. This is oscillating like a son of a gun. Why don't I put the spooky over, not the spooky, why don't I put the glass ball over this and see if I see plasma? Look at that, I see plasma. Can you see plasma? Yeah, it's so bright in here it's hard to see it, but I can see beautiful plasma. That thing is oscillating like a son of a gun. Let me turn on my oscilloscope and we can show you the wave patterns that are being received in the air from the probe. Hit any key and you probably can see in the background, I'll face this a little bit better, I know it's so bright in here it's hard to see. Yeah. No you can't, I should do this at night. But I see the 30,000, uh, whoa, I see the 30,000 uh, uh, hertz frequency on the oscilloscope. Uh, if I change the frequency on the spooky, I can see a definite change in the plasma ball. Uh, I went from 30 to 20, and you can see it if you look carefully too. So it looks like we can wind this up in five videos, or six videos, excuse me. Um, take this off. Here is a modified motherboard, up and running. I've already checked the gating, I know this works too. If I connect it through the switches to channel two, it will work just fine. And that's it. So with this uh, board right here, wherever I, I have a spare one, floating around, no, but regardless, take one out of my bag. With this controller board here, removing two parts from the motherboards, no matter what type you have. Um, we're, we're talking 12 volts, by the way. These are all 12 volt uh, plasma balls. There might be a 5 and there might be a 24 out there. This, this is, does not apply to the 5 volt plasma balls or the 24 volt plasma balls. Only the 12, which is like 99% of the plasma balls that are out there. This little uh, guy right here, 
or gal um, will do all the work for you. Five wires, remove two components off the motor motherboard, the microphone and that um, defined capacitor and uh, connect up this pigtail a ground and add that to the outputs uh, coming off this motherboard and you're ready to connect to a plasma ball put some switches on it like we did we are now fanning we're now putting fans on all our plasma balls to help cool down that uh, driving transistor you can do the same you don't have to um, it'll just cut out a lot quicker if you don't have this fan in here uh, that's what that thermal switch was for uh, take one right here thermal switch on this particular motherboard still mounted on the side and you can see how the uh, heat sink glue has uh, attached it very nicely and I'm pointing to it right here it's that silver thing it's a silver thermal switch okay everybody uh, send your questions and so forth via email or um, uh, do a blog on my uh, website and uh, maybe I can answer some fill-in questions that I haven't covered here. Have yourself a very nice day. Bye-bye.